All right, it's time. We've got to talk about this RE4 remake. Over here, stranger. Just judging by the footage that Capcom have shown us through the various different gaming outlets, just something seems really off with it. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, it just seems like there's this overcoat of jank to the whole thing. And it's going to be another one of those situations where it's like, yep, yep, probably shouldn't have made that. Yep, the original's better, way better. And it's not even close. Ah, ah. A little rough, don't you think? But if you care to indulge me, fair traveller, let me set some context. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of this stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. We've got to be honest with ourselves, RE4 original still looks pretty good even today. It was packed full of content as well, especially if you include the mercenaries mode. It's a game that I both love to death and kind of have a little bit of a grudge against. Because the original RE4 changed Resident Evil's entire approach to survival horror and their identity as a brand, ditching basically all of the scariness in favour of empowering the player instead and making you feel like an action hero sent to clean up the filth. Monsters. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. With witty one-liners to boot. It's one of the reasons why us guys from that era of survival horror say things like, man, they just don't make them like they used to, referring to games actually being scary. Because they literally don't make them that way anymore. Everyone's copied RE4 after its success and still uses it as a template even today. The cinematic over-the-shoulder camera, the laser sight aim, etc. Capcom absolutely nailed the RE2 remake, in my humble opinion. Sure, it wasn't the fresh graphics tank control Trolls one-to-one -one remake some people might have wanted, but it genuinely had a good mix of spooky tension with decent gory combat, and it was cool to explore the familiar settings with that more modern perspective. And it just seems like since then we are going in a downwards trend in quality. RE3 remake was fun, it felt good to play with that dodge mechanic which mixed it up a bit, but it was just too linear and it was obviously rushed out the gate to fulfil the release window quota. And it's a shame because it will always be an incomplete remake, a noticeable absence of puzzles and the nemesis encounters were utter dog shit past the first two. And that brings us to the RE4 remake set to release next month in late March. The footage we've seen from the game, which by the way Capcom have been really selective about, they've invited game journalists to play sections of the game but refused to let them use their own footage for their impressions videos. Now that's a pretty normal practice in most cases, but with this, I don't know, something stinks. And it stinks like shit. Let's just have a look at some of it, shall we? I mean, first things first, what the f*** is that rain effect? It looks absolutely abysmal. It's actually laughable how bad this looks. It's so utterly distracting you can barely see anything through it. Because that's not what rain looks like, is it? Trust me, I know, I, I live in the UK. If they don't tone that down before release, it's going to be DOA, I swear. Who wants to play that? And then we have the general visual style. They've somehow used the RE engine to make visuals that look unattractive, muddy, and difficult to distinguish between anything going on on the screen. Nothing pops from the background intuitively, and it just makes the models look like their textures are all oily and weird looking. The gun sound effects are lame, the pistol doesn't sound satisfying, and the shotgun is just an audible mess. I mean, this part isn't deal breaking, but it all adds up to this un underwhelming indifference rather than fueling the hype train. And hey look, I'm not just trying to shit on the game for no good reason, at least not in my opinion. I called out the Callisto Protocol a while back with some of the glaring shit from that and oh boy, the comments section did not age well for some people. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear. It's okay, it's okay, I forgive you. And what I mean to say is, it's okay to criticise upcoming games when you know in your heart of hearts that it looks bad. Just because you're excited about the idea of a game you either loved as a kid or you're going to jump into it for the first time, doesn't mean you have to pretend everything is looking incredible. Have a bit more f***ing self-respect as a paying customer. I want this game to be awesome because I love survival horror, especially big budget survival horror. They're hard to come by for the most part these days, and we need some good horror to keep us busy until Silent Hill returns, right guys? And I love the original RE4, it's one of my favourite favorite games, but this remake so far kind of looks janky, missing the personality and charm of the original. The voice for Leon is okay, and I like how they didn't change his one-liner giving attitude, but the other characters shown so far just seem bland, and the merchant's voice is absolute trash. Took care of a request. 
Well done. I don't know what they were thinking recasting that or not finding at least something kind of similar. That shit was iconic. What are you buying? Surely that voice actor is still around and wouldn't mind reprising his role. The addition of the stealth mechanic seems quite cool, I suppose. I hope it's not going to be another case of like the Callisto Protocol when you can just learn the cone of sight that the enemies have and just crouch walk around one-shotting everything. But then you've got the animations of Leon just walking about vaulting or doing anything really, it just looks stiff and clunky. Leon's handgun doesn't even seem to be pointing where the crosshairs in the game say it is and it just looks weird. Like I say though, it's kind of small things but they all seem to add up and it's like what the f*** are you doing Capcom? RE4 is one of the most popular RE games of all time, why let a remake of it end up looking like this a month before release? It's not all doom and gloom with me though, there are certain sections they've shown where it looks really moody and atmospheric, where the lighting is casting some great shadows and the textures look really nice, and then you have Leon pulling back the most stiff piece of cloth in a AAA game. What do you guys think? Am I out of my mind here? I hope I'm proved wrong, but I'm just getting that feeling again where disappointment is potentially on the horizon. Anyway, guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you, you just don't agree with me at all. Pop up in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And lastly, subscribe because we're itching closer and closer to that 1k subscribers, which would make me very happy and I like seeing the numbers go up. So go on, help a boy out and click that little red button, would ya? But anyway, until next time, guys, I'll see ya when I'm looking at you. Take it easy.